Am I the only one seeing this weird light shit going on? Hello my friends and welcome to my first video of 2019. I'm back y'all. I was gone for the first eight days of January and um was just so crazy busy on the road for like four of those days so I just wasn't able to film videos, post anything. Um, basically I had to go to Texas because my brother was graduating from the Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. <laughs> he got on it. He was like in the top like 10 or something percentage or something. I love my bro. So we went and that shit was so hectic. There was so much going on every single day and we were just so busy and it's two. We drove because I live in um, Southern California so we drove all the way from here to San Antonio which was like a 17 hour drive and we went from because I live at the very end of um, California. We went the end of California through Arizona, New Mexico, all the way through the middle of Texas or something, wherever these places are. Also, I am so sorry. My voice, midway through the trip, my voice was just leaving, bitch. It, it was gone. And now I'm like, it's going. I need to, like, rest it, but I can never shut the fuck up because I'm annoying. Anyway, um, of course, I bought books while I was out. Like, who? come on but it's um really it's because where i live i live in the middle of nowhere there's no bookstores near me you know like a lot of people places have like a local bookstore or, like an attachment to their library or something that like sells used books no 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 no. i don't have that the nearest bookstore to me is a little over an hour away and it's barnes and noble like i've never been to like cool little local places and so like i really wanted to do that during this trip but she was just so hectic i never really got the chance but 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 but, but, but in texas and like I don't know if it's just the South or if it's also the East Coast or whatever. I know they have a thing called Half Price Books. And in the Airbnb we were staying at, there was literally one, like, 20 minutes away. And I go, boy, we copping that. So, like, I went really late one night. I had, like, 40 minutes before it closed. And I bought some books. I also stopped by Barnes & Noble in El Paso. And I bought some other stuff. And I just wanted to talk about the cool books I bought. They're all kind of exciting, to me at least. And then, um, I can show you some souvenir shit. I don't really... I'm not a big person, about like t-shirts and shit everywhere I go. Um, the things I collect, I really collect postcards and pins. Those are like my favorite things. I have huge collections of them since I was like a child. Those are like my go-to things. I bought stuff from Texas and New Mexico. Not Arizona because I've been to Arizona a lot. Like Yuma is an hour drive away from here. If I want something from Arizona, I can go any day and get it. But um, let's just start with the books. Let's just go. I've been rambling. I'm sorry. I've missed videos. Who would have thought me? Machine, this sort of shit. Okay, let's just start. The first books I bought were from Half Price Books. Okay, you know what super, super threw me off? Was getting plastic bags everywhere I went. Because in California, it's like a state law thing that we do not use plastic bags anymore. It's a reusable bag. You have to buy your bags and shit if you want one. But I've always been on that reusable bag game. So that never bothered me. But obviously on the trip, I completely forgot about it. And then every time I'd buy something, they'd give me a plastic bag. And I would get something where I was like, I can just put it in my pocket. Please don't. Like... I don't need them, please don't. But we'll start with half price books. The first book I bought was The Sea Floor by Cornelia Funk. Funke? Funk. I don't think it's pronounced just Funk. She's German. She's German, right? Kate, help me out here. How do you pronounce this? Anyway, um, Cornelia Funk has been one of my favorite authors since I was like in the first grade. And this was a book I read back in like the first grade. And I haven't read it since. And I've wanted my own copy, but I always wanted this edition because this is the one I originally read from, like, my school library. And I found it there, and it was, like, my heart. This was the first book I found, and it, like, just made my heart, like, so happy. And I was like, I need this in my life. Next thing I bought was The Complete Persepolis. I finally picked this up. This has been a graphic novel that I've been wanting to read for so long. It's a graphic memoir. It's beautiful, gonna make me cry. I have been wanting to pick it up, but it is so damn expensive. Like, the completed series bind up with both volumes. And the thing is, I don't want to just buy one volume. And then, like, wait to buy the second one, because if I read the first one, I'm going to, like, fall in love, and I'm going to need that rest of it, you know? So I finally found it here for a lot cheaper, and I was like, hell yeah, copping it. Now my most, my most exciting one. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nan? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce things. I am so sorry, but, um, this this bad boy i was so upset because i wanted to pick it up like the day before i left for my trip to have it to read with me and i completely forgot and i remember like two days and i go fuck i wanted to buy that and then when we went here it was just sitting there and i was like oh my god and it was like ten dollars compared to like the full price i was gonna have to buy and i go you know i'm copying this. this came out last year i know everybody read it and fucking loved it it's fantasy pretty sure it's lgbtq and i was like i needed it i know lala put it in like her top 
10 favorite books of the year and I was like, I need it. And I found it, I go, there was no way I was not buying this. Next is Barnes and Noble, I picked up four books. Let's start with Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is a book that I know Kate fucking loved when she read it and I know a lot of people, I've heard so many great things about Blake Crouch just in general. And I've been wanting me to pick this up for years, but I just never did. But um, it was in the fucking bargain thing. And I just saw it seeing that it's fucking bright ass cover, which I love this color. And I was like, I'm copping that. We know I'm getting it. I just know that it's sci-fi and Blake Trouch is phenomenal, apparently. So excited about that. Next, I finally, 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 it's another like fantasy book. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I've been meaning to pick this up for a while now because I know Adriana fucking loves it. I know Cece put this in her like top fave books of... 2018 as well and I've just heard nothing but great things I heard this will make you sob and just I love books that'll make me cry I don't know too too much about this besides you know the fantasy sci-fi weird element and the crying and that that um it's written by a black author I believe and it's just people of color representation all throughout so I'm like super excited for that next are my most exciting besides girls made of paper and fire because gay this is kind of an epic love story bye Karen Calendar? This. Um, I saw it and I go, oh fuck, I need that. Um, basically, all I know about this is supposed to be very rom-com-esque about two boys and their developing relationship. I believe the main boy is bi or something. I know he's queer and his um, childhood best friend comes back to town and it's about them trying to figure out what happened and him trying to confront his feelings for the other boy. Um, I love that. I think it's like, is that like enemies to lovers trope? That's one of my fucking favorite tropes. But also, it's just gay. And I believe it is Own Voices. Um, I also think there's Black Rep in it. Own Voices again. I'm just so excited for this. Um, say the best for last. This one, I have so excited for. You don't understand. This is a book. A lot of these, um, well not a lot of these, um, Girls Made of Paper and Fire, and then this kind of an epic love story. And this one were 2018 releases that I wanted to pick up at the time, but of course I don't have bookstores near me and then like other things would come out, I just would never pick them up and shit. So that's what like this book haul kind of was, but um, Darius the Great is not okay. Bye! What is the author's name? Adib Karam? Adib Karam, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, this I've been wanting to read since before it came out. Oh, and I'm so excited to finally have it. Um, I know it is LGBT. It's own voices. The main boy is. Um, basically, I know that he's like a part Persian. He has to go back to Iran and all this stuff. But I heard it had great LGBTQI plus rep, great just Persian rep, great mental illness rep. I also know Cece put this in her 2018 best favorite books 2018 list, and it made her cry. I've heard the, nothing but amazing things about this, and I am so damn ready for it. I. have Missed my queer lit. I missed my sad gay queer lit. Those are my favorite. Actually, not really, but I love crying. I love the gay. So that's it for the books. Um, I guess I'll show you like souvenirs and shit too. I didn't get a lot. I didn't really care for that. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't get like t-shirts and crazy shit like that. I'm more of a small, sentimental, or like little thing that you can just put away somewhere, just have for later or something. I guess we can start with postcards. I love postcards. I put them in a wall. I put them in notebooks. I put them in photo albums. Postcards are just so great. I love paper things. I'm a papery person. Sure. Weird phrase, but we'll go with it. The first one's got this really pretty San Antonio one. Uh -huh, I'm pretty sure these are historical sites. I don't know. Just thought it would look really pretty and cool. Then, of course, I got a Lackland Air Force Base one. Repping my brother. This is where he was. I love him. And um, I'm probably gonna put this one on my wall. Next, I think all of these are New Mexico ones. I had never been to New Mexico and we didn't like stay there, but on the way back we stopped and we just looked around at some cool places, took some pictures and I got four postcards from there. First one is the historic Route 66 one. Um, I just like the colors and I thought it was fun. And I think about Cars, the Pixar movie, one of the best movies ever. Um, so I got that. So then I just got this really pretty um, Land of Time in New Mexico one. I just love that purpley, pinky, and the blue. So beautiful. Then this is probably my favorite. Just a bunch of cactus, because we in the desert, boy. And um, I'm a desert boy, and I love cacti so fucking much. You can probably tell in some of my other 
videos when I'm on like my other bookshelf, my shirts in the back, I have like 15 cactus shirts. I have a little baby cactus right there. I love cacti. I have since I was a child. They scare me. I have weird um, intrusive thoughts. They're always like fucking touch it. Like if I was next to a big one, I don't think I could stop myself from just rubbing it and then fucking stabbing and killing myself. My last postcard is also probably one of my other favorites. Something about it, when I saw it in there, because we went to like a nice like historical um, Indian Native American sort of stop little shop place thing and I saw a bunch of posters like this and they had a lot of like Billy the Kid and like different Native American historical sh people and things from there but this one just really drew me something about it drew me in and it's this one the um title of it is Plains Indian Woman Preparation for Dinner and just I don't know something about it was so beautiful I don't know if I got like very emotional looking at it Think about the woman and the little baby. I just really, really love this one. This is probably one I want to display on my wall. It's just very beautiful. Okay, next I just have like a couple small, small things. Um, I got a free fucking this. I got a free. I'm proud of my brother for choosing to defend our country and freedom. <laughs> like I give a fuck. Um, it was it's cute though. I love my brother. I am proud of him. I just got this for free because he put a pin in something and they just gave it to us. We'll do some Texas ones. We went to the Alamo because that's what you do. When you in that San Antonio, when you in Texas, I got this really, really pretty pin. It just says, um, the Alamo, San Antonio, Texas, blah, 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 Um, I, it's very hefty. I just thought it was really cute and pretty. I like this aesthetic. And, uh, my next one we got in El Paso. And it is this tiny little sheriff, El Paso, my voice, this tiny little sheriff El Paso pin badge. Um, as a child, I collected badges and things like this or like sheriff badges and pins i have i still have some but like these i just thought were so cool and cute i wanted to be woody from toy story really really badly if i'm being honest like even the stupid plastic ones you get like chuck e cheese or shit those are my favorite i still have a shit ton and so just going with that collection then in new mexico i just got one of these little baby keychains at a gas station with these pins this is i heart and am new mexico I have one of these that I got from like Party City like 10 years ago. This says I Heart Justin because of Justin Bieber and I still have it on. I like these little like looks like a kid made it. I don't know, thing about this is just very nostalgic and cute to me. And my last two things, the most exciting things, actual items now. I got this giant hoodie and um, this little Air Force symbol. I got it from the Lackland Air Force Base, of course. Um, I know everybody else got like, I know they have like the big like actual huge giant symbols and scenes and those ones are like i'm proud of my airmen and all this shit like that um i'm not really about that um i got this one because it was so simple it literally is just this gray and it has that symbol nothing else going on to it it's just plain and basic but it still has a little bit of representation we got it just you know to show some support to my brother i thought it was cute though and it's so soft such quality i love it my last thing i'm going to show you today is the most exciting thing it is this baseball cap that says proud air force dad one i love this like olive green color it's so fucking cute but this saying my brother and i have this joke that's kind of grown along amongst my family now that i am the number one dad i have a number one dad shirt i was home myself number one father i all my younger siblings are my children i'm just the best dad i am number one dad and so i, I they had a lot of like this dumb like Air Force mom or, you know, brother, or sister, all this dumb shit. And I go, I saw these and I go, wait, hold the fuck up. And, and I was like, I'm copying one. Um, This is actually so special to me though because my brother bought this one for me. He was in there and he goes, yo, I got credit here. I'm going to buy that for you. And I go, thank you. And I cried and I wore it. Not at the base because that's fucking dorky. Like everybody there was wearing, like I get it. You love your child, your brother, your whatever is there. But, um. It's kind of dorky. It's like wearing the band that you're going to go see their shirt to their concert. And like a lot of people were like repping like the different squadron names. Like my brother was the Knights. Hey, <laughs> go Knights. I don't remember anybody else. But I thought that was kind of dorky. So I didn't wear any of this there. But like when I was in like New Mexico or something, I wore this. And I was like, people are probably think I'm so crazy. But like, number one dad, proud of my son. Love it. Okay, guys. That is it for this haul video. Um... I have some fun videos that I was thinking about, and I'm going to film them, and I'm coming back, yo. <laughs> Y'all's missed me yet? I'm not any more coherent.
So I guess that's it here. Um, I hope y'all are excited to see more from me. 2019, here we go. I keep forgetting it's actually 2019. I keep saying it's like 2012 for some reason. I'm Anyway, I hope y'all have been doing so well for the past nine, whatever, how far we are into 2019. I hope 2019 has been treating you all perfectly. I hope y'all are fucking reading lots of books, doing lots of fun stuff. Um, cool, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.